Okay, welcome to the uh, Dashless Report, week two recaps. I'm your host, Bobby Moravia, with Douglas Dw Dweck with the Jersey Shore Organization, NRJ, good old NRJ from the uh, Maurice's Pieces, and uh, guys, whoa, wow. look who wow. walked in. Look what the wind blew in. Wow, the Dashless Report, Dash. Came back from his uh, recruiting trip. We graduated with Mike's. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Catering Mike's. David Dash Asher making his debut. Yes. How are you, Mr. Asher? All is good. Wow, Still where you been? We, uh, we haven't seen you in a couple of years. You took off and uh, never came back. You had your own show and contract dispute. You took off. Well, to tell you the truth, I finally got compensated for past, past jobs. So I'm back. And I may be better than ever, but time will tell. <laughs> All right, Mr. Asher uh, on the U.S. Marshals uh, organization. Uh, tell us a little about your team. Uh, we uh, reviewed them early in the year. A lot of talent on uh, on, the, on the on the staff, but uh, very uh, hot heads <laughs> to say the least. Well, that's what you said. Head cases galore. Well, you could say that. No denying that. But we did split yesterday. He had uh, the season debut of uh, Eddie Hakim, made his uh, debut yesterday, and also uh, uh, David Azer picked up last week in a trade. Uh, how did that pan out yesterday? Panned out excellent. Eddie hit great. It's like he didn't miss a beat. And David Azer actually played a pretty good shortstop the first game, and he pitched the second game. And we moved Ali to shortstop, and I moved to the bench. I didn't love that idea, but I did it for the team. <laughs> We needed a fourth outfielder. Jason Marshall actually played excellent too. Wow, the team player now, Ash, after all those years on it. As time goes on, you kind of you kind of just grow up. So you finally uh, did that. Uh, so tell me, what do you think the problem has been with Ali this year? His uh, ERA was like almost 14. And uh, granted, all, all the runs were unearned, but still... Uh, was it Chubby Cassata? Yeah. Now? What the... Uh, <laughs> Do you think this is a permanent move now for him at shortstop? That's the game they lost, huh? The game he pitched. No. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Right. Okay. It's a... Uh, time will tell. They're not, the team has not confirmed all changes weekly, but when you have Ali at shortstop or outfield, it strengthens the team dramatically. And Azer actually is a pretty good pitcher. He's not his uncle, obviously, but he's pretty good. I actually heard that even though it's the only the first week in May, usually this doesn't happen until June, I heard that Mount Saban, as uh, so named by Morabia, heard Mount Saban erupted earlier this year than usual. Only week two, I heard he went nuts a few times yesterday. Can you confirm? Yes, 100%. The volcano went off. So all, all flights are grounded out of Newark. <laughs> I believe he's away right now. Maybe the flight did take off. <laughs> Well, that's no surprise. I mean, he did uh, he he was last happy, week. And, but he was uh, happy with his tan on the way out, too. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what is the consensus of the team uh, better now with uh, Azer pitching, or are they sort of leaning towards the alley coming back? It's, it's kind of in the middle right now. But Azer is, was definitely a great pickup. Jaime was excellent, but we had the oldest infield maybe of all time with Jaime. So it was time to at least unload someone. And I guess he was the one to go. Well, I'm sure there's no uh, love lost between that trade. Uh, yeah. I don't think you'll be spending Shavuot with uh, Jaime anytime soon, Ali and Jaime. You can count on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, your team's split now. You're 2-2 two and two, uh, with all the, uh, all the shenanigans. You are 2-2, two and two, so that's, uh, that's <laughs> a good... Uh, that's a pretty uh, safe ground after uh, four games. So, uh, And also... Um, the team you played three is and one. three and one, so that was the first loss of the year. And not for anything, and they also played that that bachelor team. Who could, yeah. but not for anything, can't get out of their own way. <laughs> they lost four touchdowns to a field goal yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we'll review that later. But uh, give yeah, us you your. Uh, you need more than a second of those guys. <laughs> give us any their own. Show us your uh, consensus we'll of the uh, of the situation because. They look like a very uh, confident defensive team with red on the hill. Very excellent team, well balanced. Elliot Batesh, excellent first baseman, veteran. Of, of course, I'll tell you, he's the greatest hitter ever. Uh, they had a bounce. Svee Goldberg, Morris Casson, Big Soli played an excellent third base. They called Big, the, they Big call, Soli's having a very good defensive year this year. He played great defense at third against us also. Uh, he played 
X. He made and a great. Mary Morris Cass had a great. Uh, he made a couple of nice plays. What is that? A short center he played yesterday. Second, second base. Oh, they second moved base. Goldberg over the short oh. center just to keep. And I still think they have the best outfield in the league, hands down. Uh, I speed. think we all underrated speed. this team in the beginning Very of the good year, team. Yeah. and they're, they're really gelling together. And uh, I think we all them some credit. They're three and one. They beat a couple of good teams already. Well, make it five and one after the next week. <laughs> That's right, they play the patches, they'll yeah. be fine. You spot those guys 12 runs, they still won't win. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a tough uh, tough matchup for uh, those the Bachelorettes. But, uh, speaking you know, of money, those guys paying full yet? <laughs> Collection coming very shortly, we got to find those guys. So uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was a review of that game, so we had a uh, nice split yesterday. and uh, The first game was the defense alley has actually not pitched that bad but the defense has let him down the outfield play the infield play overall very suspect defense that's saying it nicely even though I'm on the team yeah well you know your team is not uh, built on defense we all know that so you know that's true yeah. well, I'm getting getting a word from our producers that they have opened up the phone lines we are taking uh, calls tonight Phone lines are open. One eight hundred YMSL Azab. Okay. <laughs> Please call. Lines are now open. All right. So we'll uh, we'll take some calls uh, shortly. Um, all right. So the next matchup we have was the Bachelorettes versus uh, the renamed Killer the Red Z's. <laughs> Bachelorettes. <laughs> Killer Z's too. And um, I don't know what else. We can say about this franchise. That what was the final right score? Now? I think they're still adding it. They're still tallying <laughs> up the score. Thirty-one-six <laughs> combination yesterday. 31. Sammy crossed eight for eight, four RBIs, and uh, how did he feel? Let's not discuss that right now. Eight for eight. I played did. shortstop on that team. He did. He did. Yeah, he did. Come on, eight for eight. Yeah. But, but um, I guess then again, do, do players of the week count against that team? Well, there's an asterisk. There's no, you know, there's there's definitely an asterisk next to the. Uh, to the stat, and uh, but uh, actually, uh, we just got breaking news. Uh, the entire uh, Bachelorette team has been traded to the DSN League, so they'll be playing now against uh, the fourth. The six year olds, yeah, yeah. The six year olds. Okay. So, and my son was looking to win a game. He's six. He hasn't won a game. <laughs> so, now he'll pick up a win. He'll pick up so a win. Uh, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll be good. I think they'll be a little bit more competitive than that. Uh, in that league, but uh, you know, they had the debut of Nathan Matute, their first round pick yesterday. It was in the first field. week, and uh, he was overseas in Mexico league playing uh, with uh, Vincente Padilla, and uh, you know he was uh, he was good, he played very good, and his brother Eddie Matute showed up. I didn't even uh, know. Eddie plays in the league. I thought the same guy, but the, <laughs> they were wow. both there. I, I heard he played a tremendous center field. He was yeah. the uh, yeah, was, he was yeah, the tremendous soul, to thirty-one runs. Uh, he was the sole <laughs> uh, the shining right point <laughs> on a disastrous team. Um, again, to think a group of guys could just get together and show up on Sunday morning in a real legitimate league and compete was a joke from the beginning. And now the results are showing: zero and one, zero and two, zero and three, zero and four. And we know where that's headed. Um, the way to open, uh, the over under was, team was four, three, three and a half in the beginning of the year. It's yeah. not even going to be close. They're not, crazy. They're it was one and a half. Even I was speaking to a good friend of mine before the year. I thought his name out, Ricky Bra. He was. He said the over under maybe be a half. I said make it one and a half. But looking back, the bad half was right. And and they the it, to this team, maybe. normally against a bad team, there would be a little bit pressure against on their opponents. Like you don't want to be the first yeah, one to lose bad, to them. Right. But I'm hearing from the team that played them yesterday, you shouldn't even have that pressure. It's, it's nearly impossible to lose to this team. <laughs> How many guys are on this team? Can they play 12 guys in the field at one time? Uh, hey, listen, uh, we're, we're going to try to help them out as much as possible. By what? Are you recruiting in, uh, <laughs> guys off the street? No, we're going to try having the other team not show up. But you know, <laughs> Carlos Abadi didn't show up yesterday, did he? No, so he had a, Carlos Abadi. He had a soccer game in Mexico or something. Yeah, we're going to uh, we need a break from our sponsors right now and uh, we'll continue this uh, discussion right after the break from RBI Beverage Inc. Take that thing out. Kill the government.